Welcome back everyone. I've got lesson nine for us on multiplying decimal numbers times decimal numbers. Stick around for a fun illustrated problem that you will love to help you practice. Now let's start by doing this problem and setting it up, stacking up the numbers, and going through our normal procedure. If you are new to this channel, you might want to go back to the uh, multiplying whole numbers video, and that will help you with all of the steps. So the first thing we want to do is multiply three and six by this five right here. So let's start with this first place. Six times five is 30. So I regroup right there. Then I want to do 3 times 5 is 15, plus the 3 is 18. Okay, and then when I'm done with the 5, I've multiplied everything times the 5, I say, here's my trick that I like to say, X, O, no, go. And if you've seen my other videos, you've, you've said that chant before. So let's practice again. X, O, no, go. Okay, then I'm going to multiply everything times the one. So six times one is six, and three times one is three. Notice how I'm not doing anything with my decimal numbers yet. I'm leaving them alone, or my decimal points yet, sorry. I'm leaving them alone for now. I'm gonna place it at the end. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my two partial products got 0, 14, and 5. Okay, now I'm going to figure out my decimal point. In the last video, we tried whole numbers times decimals, and we counted decimal places. We can do that again for this, too. In this problem, there's here's one decimal place, here's another one. So there's two total. So I'm going to move my decimal point over two times and then place it. So my answer is five and 40 hundredths, or five and four tenths. Well, let's check in with Henry the Sloth to see how his business is going. If you've been watching my videos, you know that we've been following the story of Henry the Sloth and his food truck business. How's it going, Henry? Oh, it's going great, thanks for asking. We have lots of business. In fact, we've had so much business, we're really needing to keep up with ordering more ingredients to keep making tacos. What do you think, Howard? Oh yeah, definitely, Henry. I think our most popular items are the chicken tacos and, of course, some chips and salsa. Oh no, we have run low on jalapenos again. If jalapenos cost 35 cents per pound and we need to buy 25.5 pounds, what is the total cost? Can you pause the video and help us solve this? Okay, let's check your work. I'm gonna go through the normal multiplication procedure and you be looking at your paper. Don't forget XO no go. And then everything times three. Then we're going to add our two partial products. Remember, we can wait on the decimal. And then let's see one, two, three decimal places. So think about where that decimal is going to go. Good job.
Okay, so that means that the 25.5 pounds of jalapenos cost this much. But since that's not a very normal looking amount of money, I think we should round to the nearest hundredths. So zero to four, stay on the floor. Five to nine, go up the line. And since it's a five, that tells us to go up to $8.93. Great job.